they always, or at least almost always, ask for evidence to back up your submission. Um, so as long as you have that evidence, and as long as you can file those returns going back to, to claim that DTA position and prove it for that period, uh, you can potentially backdate, but it's not as easy a process as it is with financial immigration. Let's say I did immigrate to USA, um, but I kind of forgot about my taxes two, three years down the line. Is there any way that I can potentially backdate an application to the day that I actually exit South Africa? Absolutely. And I'll, I'll tell you the, the once off way. And then I want Tom to kind of dive into the details of the DTA way because they differ slightly in the way you do it. But absolutely, you can backdate. Okay. Of course, we can never really save you from any uh, late, well, penalties maybe we can assist you with, but late interest, stuff like that. But you can backdate and protect foreign income. Because uh, yeah. remember, it's especially the financial immigration, it has to do with your intent. So was your permanent intent from the day you left, you know, or was it afterwards? Did you go for a year and then decide, oh, now I actually love it. I do want to stay. So that's the, the date you kind of look for when you think, when am I going to seize tax residency? And then on, on the other side, when you're going for the annual route and seizing tax residency, it becomes a little bit more finicky from a backdating perspective. Hi, Yas Basson here. I just wanted to remind you about the Daily Entrepreneur Tips series. It's a business growth series for entrepreneurs and contains financial information and also information to grow you as a person and your business because we will never grow our business any higher than we grow ourselves. So click on the link below and I will send you daily information to grow you as a person and your business. And it's for 365 days of the year. Uh, really speaking, uh, when you use a double taxation agreement, the annual route, uh, every year you have to prove that in that year you met the factual requirements to be seen as a non-resident or at least an exclusive resident in the other country uh, that we have the DTA with, uh, where your permanent home is between the two countries, where your center of vital interests was, where you're habitually residing most of the time between the two and where you're a national, those will all decide it. But uh, when it comes to backdating, uh, three years is generally your cutoff, unless you haven't filed returns for longer, in which case, as Victoria said, you're still uh, subject to that risk of penalties mm -hmm. from a SARS perspective. Um, and then even so, if you did file your returns, it might make it harder. Uh, if you filed your returns and SARS asked you for additional documents and information, you can't simply go back and fix that return. You know, because SARS still needs to audit you when you when you claim a DTA in your returns. They always, or at least almost always, ask for evidence to back up your submission. Um, so as long as you have that evidence. And as long as you can file those returns going back to, to claim that DTA position and prove it for that period, uh, you can potentially backdate. But it's not as easy a process as it is with financial immigration. And the, the proof element is, I'd say, one or two steps uh, more burdensome. Yeah, I agree with you, definitely. I think also just the point, I think on general tax, the moment you start letting your taxes go and then need to update at some time do a backlog of five five odd years i mean the tendency of an audit is just big, the risk of an audit is just so much bigger i mean just see so much and to start doing a, a, a running an audit for for five years the different years it, it's not fun so <laughs> i think i'll rather keep it up to date <laughs> yep. um right to you give a comment if there's anything that you want to add to this video i would really appreciate that as well and uh, obviously, if you like my channel and follow us, enjoy your day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.